Welcome to day 17 of our January challenge 2020 and we're carrying on with our lovely gentle steady approach to Lauren Scott's arrangement of the seal lullaby. I'm going to go straight into what we're going to play today. start with that right hand lovely lots of space in this section we have a minim a or a half note a okay ready play the a together a just with a finger two then we're going to move down with finger two to middle c and thumb onto the e and we play c e loads and loads of space okay so if we actually put that into time let's count that through just those three notes one and two and three and one and two and three and so lots and lots of time okay underneath that left hand lowest note is an f but if we aim with our finger two for the red and allow our fourth finger to just fall onto the f and trust it it's one of the reaching ones so our thumb will be on the a but you can hop to it if you wish and we play f c to the a then the same size shape again aim with finger two for the e just below the black open your fourth out to the same size gap which will be an a at the bottom and our thumb will be reaching for the red and we've done this a few ooh, quite a few days ago now where we go a e and then we do three in a row so we just allow fingers two and three to fall out before we play that thumb and then we play one two three let's just try that bar so we've got a and e in the bass and our thumb's going to be reaching for the c in a moment and before we play the c but trying to stay in time we'll allow fingers two and three to fall out just to those next notes okay here's our count in a full bar one and two and three and okay let's just do that one more time a and E at the base, ready? One and two and three and. Okay, so let's put that left hand together. F, C, A, just the left again from the beginning of today, bar 55. Here's our count. One and two and three and. one more time we're using that gap as I'm counting the two and three and to get our hand ready on that second bar so again down aiming with finger two onto the red and just allow your fourth to open up and here we go one and two and three and ourselves of the right hand it started with an a we have the a we move down to the c and the e we play the c and we play the e okay so we'll put this hands together so they start at the same time fca in the left here's our count in one and two and three and C, A in the left, A in the top, and here is our count. One and two and three and. 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 That's it, so don't rush to that last note in the right hand. One more time, A at the top, F, C, A in the bass. Here's our count. One and two and three and okay then our right hand is going to carry on with another one of those e's we play the e notice my thumb is nicely up 
which means I'm ready to just open up and put my thumb on the G, finger three reaching to the B. I'm either side, I'm on the outward side of the coloured strings there. They play together. Then I move right down to a G going to an A, which you can either do with two one or you could do with three two. Whatever feels comfy there. Okay, so let's just play those sequence of notes. This is bar 57, E, moving up either side of the colours to the B and the G, play that. Moving down to the G and the A, which you can place both of, and then we play the G, and then we play the A. Okay, so let's do that in time now. Okay, so here's our counting, starting on the E. One, and two, and three, and. I'm moving, ready for the next one. Try that again, just that right hand. Ready? One and two and three and. And, and, and. Okay. Underneath that, the left hand is reaching down. It's playing, well, my thumb is gonna be on the E just below this black. My third finger's reaching out a bit further than normal to the G just above that black. So I'm just in from my two blacks down there. And I play three one. And then I open up outward to the blacks with one and four and allow finger two to fall onto that red C in the middle. Okay, so if we try that left hand in time now, just that bit, G, E. There's lots of time to get ready on the Fs in a moment. So I'll count us in just the left hand from bar 57. Okay. One and two and three and. Two and three and. Good. Now I want us to do our left hand from the beginning of today from 55. So that was F, C up to the A. And then we move to the A, E up to the C. We had the three in a row and then we've got to get straight down. So in fact, just put the three in a row, put the C, B, A on, give that a little squeeze and then practice moving your hand one and three to just inside those blacks. Okay, try that again, the three in a row, give it a little squeeze and then to just inside those blacks because that's our move with the least available time. Okay, this time we'll try again, three in a row. This time we'll play those three. We'll have our slight, the word and, which is our time to get ready down there. So we're just gonna play after one and. We'll start with this C, B, A, G, E, okay? One and. And. Okay, give that another go, C, B, A. After one and. One, and, and, okay, now go back to your CBA, this time I want you to see if you can do it with your eyes closed, okay, so keep your head in its normal position but close your eyes, no peeking, you're going to play the C, B, A and G, E, you may hit it correct, you may not, it's okay either way, it's about making this a little bit harder so that then when your eyes are open it feels easier. So try it with your eyes closed after one and. I've got mine closed too. One and. And. Okay, so I went a bit too low. I was one note too low in both my fingers, which is good. So I opened up to the right size shape and I was roughly in the right area, okay? Now, if we do it with our eyes open again, do the CBA, and our eyes are gonna be allowed to look this time. After one and, ready? One and. And. Feel easier? I hope so. Okay, so let's play the left hand from the beginning of 55. Beginning of today, F, C, A. Okay, here's our count. One and two and three and and ready and and two and ready and okay we'll do that one more time fca 
to start and by the end there we were on FCF. FCA now. One and two and three and and three and and ready here we go well done let's put the top hand together it's the a a long minim going down to c and e lots of time to then get finger two on that e opening up outside outwards of the colors moving down to ga okay so from that a left hand joining in fca and do both together here we go here's our count one and two and three and Let's try it again. Okay, F C A in the left, A in the top. Ready? One and two and three and 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 and. and. Okay just have another few notes to finish it off the right hand carrying on from this F C F is going to go to a G A C and the next note is going to be an F up here so we're going to play four three two one okay this is the same size shape and gap that we did at the end of day 14 where we did is now lower G A C F. So we want to practice opening our hand up and allowing all four fingers to land hopefully in the right place. Try and have a nice curve in that fourth finger so it's not like dead straight. If it's dead straight you're gonna fall into other things. If you have a bit of a curve in it you can go into your hand. Okay and this is marked piano anyway so it's very quiet. Whilst we still bend in beautifully, we don't need to be grrr with the actual plucking itself. So all we need to do is add that on the end of what we've already done. Okay, so first let's practice. If you open your hand to that and get that on and have your left hand on the F octave, so aim with your thumb and allow finger two to fall to the C. So this is us playing from the beginning of bar 58 our last full bar today, but we're not worrying about the first right hand note. We're just gonna go left, 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 right, 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 right. Okay, let's do that. One and two and three and left, 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 right, 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 right. Okay, we'll do that again. So if you can just open those hands straight to those notes. You ready? Here's our count. One and two and three and good okay now we've got our left hand back on that f octave and our right hand is going to play the a at the beginning of that bar and we were doing that with a thumb because of where we've been so now we need to practice and maybe you can just do the right hand for a second play the a and get ready on that g a c f and just practice that move Buff. Buff. Okay, and now we're going to join in with the left, playing with that thumb in the top hand, finger four down in the bass. Here's our count. We're playing from the beginning of bar 58, just through to the end there. Okay, one and two and three and... Let's try that again. Thumb on the A, left hand on FCF. Here's our count in. One and two and three and. Okay. Then we need 
to put it all together. So we're going to go back to bar 55. Right hand has an A on its own, moving down to C and E. Left hand has the F, C, reaching up for the A, which you may or may not place yet. We've got nice released shoulders, allowing them to just be free. We're breathing calmly and we'll count in. One and two and three and. Day. Well done. We've got five more little segments left for this piece. You're doing really, really well. Just a reminder, um, if you haven't already, get yourself a copy of Sylvia Wood's Packabell's Canon, because that's what we're going to go and look at when we finish with this piece. All right. Thank you and well done. <laughs>